More than one in five secondary school pupils in England was out of school last week because of coronavirus, the highest number since September. Keeping children in the classroom has been one of the key goals for the government, who say half a million laptops are going to schools to help pupils isolating. But it's a policy which comes with enormous challenges for both pupils and staff. Before the pandemic, school attendance was normally around 95%. The latest figures show just 78% of teenagers were in the classroom last week. Our education editor, Ramon Jeffries, reports from Knowsley on Merseyside, one of the worst affected areas this term. Even break times carefully managed, a school hit hard by coronavirus, teachers and pupils having to isolate. In year 10, we've had to have bubble closure, an entire bubble closure. In year 11, we've had uh, a partial bubble closure. Uh, there's a significant number of days that have been lost as part of that. Across year 11, just since September, more than 700 days in the classroom lost. Even now, we're still just catching up with work that we missed during lockdown. So there's still a lot of content that we need to catch up on before learning the content that we should be right now. I don't think it's really fair because at the end of the day, we're all sitting the same exam and some have had more time in school than others and it could affect people differently. As someone who's self-isolated already, I think it's really like stressful to like even think about the fact that we've possibly got to do exams in a few months time. You won't be learning all the content that you that will be on your exams so it will not only affect your GCSEs but also college. In this part of Merseyside as many as four out of ten teenagers have been out of secondary school at any one time. Now local infection rates have improved very slightly but those are still days in the classroom those teenagers won't get back. And schools are worried that if there's more disruption after Christmas, they simply won't be able to cover all of the content of their GCSEs. Plans for exams promised soon. One suggestion, grades could be more generous than usual across England. It's exactly the same as, as reducing the content for, for everybody. What we need is a more localised approach to take into account the, the exact nature of the disruption that, that we faced. With one more baby, we could have managed, but not with two. In English, pupils will have more choice in exam questions. Some want it allowed in other subjects. You could have different papers that cover different parts of the content, or you could have a single paper, but guide pupils through the questions that they should answer based on the content they've studied. How high would you put the risk of the government getting itself into a very difficult position again? At the moment, I think that risk is very high. As they try to keep cases at bay, unions warn more pupils may need to learn at home. Ministers determined schools will stay open come what may. Bramwyn Jeffries, BBC News, Knowsley.